So, I'm going to talk a little bit about this coronavirus. And I made some jokes uh, earlier in the week that I was suffering from the corona light virus, which I originally heard Ronnie say from the Star Report. So that was like in my brain. And I guess I couldn't wait to use it. You know, as soon as I blew my nose, I'm like, oh, I must have the corona light virus. Um, with that being said, I'm just going to give a little bit of, a, you know, a few of a few of, you know, uh, how I can be when it comes to these kind of things. We call them like events. And I would say, um, no, how do I say I would argue? Uh, how do I just go out and just how do I say this? Do not worry about this virus in any way, shape, or form. You have nothing to worry about. You know, at first I was thinking like this was just a money grab, which of course this is opportunity. Like, uh, what's that guy said? He said, never let a good, um, never let a good tragedy go to waste. You know, never let an event go to waste. You know, utilize that. So we in the U.S. could be utilizing this. But here, here, let me just say this. We do know that China is a communist country, right? Like, we do know that. Like, this is like the first time the country has allowed people to, like, kind of, like, buy cars and all these different things, right? And they're promoting that they're, you know, that the, their countrymen travel and they want them to go to Africa. They want them to go to the United States of America and gr big groups of like 50. You travel outside the United States of America and even some parts here, man, you go to Yellowstone National Park. I was in Yellowstone National Park with the family and the Chinese was knocking us down. They're like, they don't care. They go 50 deep and they're loud and they're spitting everywhere. Everywhere they turn. <laughs> They don't even they don't even look at it like that. So you know what I'm saying is true. I just thought of that song. This much is true. So don't worry about this virus. This is yes, it's a money grab. Yes, this is an opportunity for uh, eugenicists like Bill Gates to. Uh, 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 push that agenda, you know, let's start vaccinating these people because, <laughs> you know, the human body is very resilient. Look at all the sugar I put this one through, okay? And, you know, we can, like, run planes and trains with just sugar. Anyway, I digress from that. So, here's the thing. The coronavirus is a hoax. I said it. If you go to YouTube and you type up the place where this coronavirus started, it's uh, called Wuhan. And what's interesting is that this is what I would call a ghost city. So if you went to YouTube and you typed up ghost cities of China, what you're going to get is a bunch of videos that show you actual cities and Americans and Australia, not really Americans, but a lot of Australians and South Africans that do the, you know, a South African people and Australian people, wherever you go in the United States of America, they're like traveling all through it. They traveling everywhere. They want to see everything. And it's not, it's unlike America, you know, like America does, America doesn't really care about you really traveling. They want you to not travel. Actually, they want you to be aware of what's going on. And they make all these movies like, um, with Lehman Nielsen to just push that idea that if you leave, you're going to get kidnapped and you're going to be like in some sort of dungeon having like weird sex until the, like that moment you die. They did those really cool movies like that. Um, but this is what they're promoting. They're promoting that this is what happens when you leave and you, you know, so they want you to stay in that tourist. Wherever you go, you stay where the tourists are at because you don't want to end up in some dungeon. That's the propaganda. So we here in America are not the only ones that are pushing propaganda. All around the world, every place has their propaganda. This just happens to be China's propaganda. These kind of things are called false flags, okay? I don't make up these words. Then we don't have to call them that. We could just come up with another word. But these are these kind of like dramatized 
movie kind of a things that happen. And then you have people that want to be on TV and they don't mind. You know, my brother did a movie. My brother's a, a, a movie director and he's a very good one. What I love about my brother is that he starts something, he finishes it. Unlike me. I've always suffered from finishing things. <laughs> I digress from that. So, what we're doing now is we have to understand that in China, they have their own internet. You know how the guy was walking across the United States of America and he would be like, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? That's because in order for the signal of you know, your cell phone signal, you need cell phone towers. They like to tell us all about these like satellites that are beaming and they cross triangulating, all of this kind of stuff. But what's really happening is, is that they're using that triangular system and they're throwing, you know, your, your phone signal around, but it's totally controlled. They could turn off these things at any moment. You go down into a train station, you have no service. But as of late, I was told that you can go down to a train station, one of the big ones here in New York City, and you can use your phone. That's because they control it. They control the airwaves. What you have to understand is that everything is being controlled. We go to the supermarket and there's 45 whatever to choose from. I used to use the analogy that there was, how could I tell a person that they're not free if they have that much salad dressing to choose from? They ain't gonna go for it. You can't tell a person that it's possible that what you perceive as choice isn't choice. You can't tell a person that when they have that many salad dressings to choose from. They're gonna, it just it doesn't make sense. Huh? All the gyms to choose from? We have nothing but choice. How could I not be free? We're gonna digress from that because that's a whole, that's like 45 minutes of 300 hours. So anyway, so now we have, what do we have? Let me think. What I just did right now by stuttering this moment and then kind of like forgetting my thought is because I already recognized that I did the triangle hand singles. Now I saw me doing the hand together, the prayer hands like pyramid hands. So now I'm gonna get all those kind of people that think that any kind of hand signals represent some sort of Illuminati stuff, okay? I get it, but I have been indoctrinated with hand signals that I didn't even know was hand signals until I started watching YouTube and was like, oh my God, you know? Even though I do say the the other day, Jay-Z was wearing that, what he referred to as mauve. And then he gets inside of the Tesla and then he presses the button to close the Tesla door. What did he do with his hand right after that? Anyway, it's another digress. You see, I'm all over the place. That could be this hybrid that I just enjoyed. But anyway, I digress from that. This coronavirus is taking place in a place called Wuhan. There is no information about this city. No one's ever heard of this city. Seven million people. You sure about that? We never heard of this place. I looked all over the internet. The last, the late, the, the the earliest thing from this Wuhan place is seven months ago, and you should take a look at it. And it only has five hundred views, and no one has even subscribed. It's like everyone is just. You look at the mainstream media stuff. One point five million views, eight hundred and fifty thousand views. They're getting their information from mainstream media and mainstream media is telling them what is mainstream media telling them? Everything that they're believing. But if you just go to YouTube and you type up 
go cities of China, you will know that China has a ton of ghost cities. Huge city that have the Eiffel Tower in China. They got all the cobblestone bricks that you can even imagine. They built this whole city and there's only like 800 people living in the city, just maintaining the city. You telling me that you couldn't, that, that if France didn't want to stage some sort of event, they couldn't use that prop that's already there made? It's doable. The only thing that Wuhan has that's only one year old is that bridge. Wuhan has this really amazing long bridge and it's red. You know, they love like, every, you know, like, I'm not gonna, you know, they're trying to copy the Golden Gate Bridge, you can't do it, but you know, whatever. Uh, the bridge is all right. It looks a little bit like the Tapazi Bridge we have here in the Tri-State, mixed with, um, but the old Tapazi Bridge, not the new Tapazi Bridge. The new Tapazi Bridge, I don't know what the hell is going on with the new Tapazi Bridge. I, I don't get it. And they made the Kosciuszko Bridge here in New York the same way they did the Tapazi Bridge. I, I don't get that design, but all right. So now, Wuhan has no history. Not for seven months. Seven months ago is when they started the campaign about Wuhan, but it was all digital. They were showing you the bullet train, digital. They were showing you people running in the fields, digital. Everything was blue screen, everything was digital. It could have been any highway on any busy street on a damn Friday night they was trying to show you. They didn't show you nobody living. They didn't show you no businesses popping. They didn't show nobody buying any coffee, getting any bread, eating any food. None of that was shown. They only showed you come to Wuhan seven months ago was the first time it ever hit the internet. How's that possible? But here's the thing. They have ghost cities. Look up ghost cities. They're trying to say they built this hospital in 10, 12 days. So that means they have the ability to what? Build quickly, quickly. So it's not unrealistic that they built the whole city. And this city is where they call. And what alarmed me was when they were walking through the city, right? And they're walking through the city and they have these huge blowers just blowing all of this chemicals all through the city and that right there showed me that it was a false flag this is a stage this is a show this is china's way of doing i don't know because i can't take you to the last page of the book stop asking me to take you to the last page of the book i don't know but the girl that they pulled out of the damn car and supposedly broke her neck she did not have a broken neck this was all BS. None of the officers that was there turned around to look at the one camera that was filming them. If you're that paranoid about breaking a girl's neck while you're snatching her out of her car for not wearing a gas mask, then why the hell wouldn't you be concerned about the one person standing there with the camera? Who are these people that are standing in China with cameras and then uh, have the courage? Do you have to understand what it would be for you to just have that kind of courage, the courage for you to just go against your government and post a video about police killing a young girl. You would have to be, what's that guy, the Irish guy that was like screaming freedom when they were like pulling his intestines out. You would have to be that guy. This is not like America where you could tell the cops F you. No, no, no. In China, the teachers are still beating the living daylights out of them kids. Come on. And a lot of those videos are years old. A lot of the videos we saw in China where the teachers like wilding out, that happened like three years ago. It takes a long time for stuff to get out of China. Let me tell you this. China has its own internet. They have all the control. They triangulate and de-triangulate or whatever the words are. It doesn't matter. Use your brains. 
look on the internet and see when's the last thing posted about this place. And it was this fictional idea of a place with a bridge. They probably did the bridge and then they wrapped everything around this kind of bridge. And then they have all these little moments that they staged and they're horrible actors. You see, what happens is you read the title and then you press play. You see, I'm the guy who goes to world star hip hop, but I never look at the title, the words of the titles, never, 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 never. If the picture interests me, which is usually 80% of whatever they post, I keep it real. Boom, I click it. I watch the video and sometimes while watching the video, I will then press details and read what it says because you know, I, I, I gotta keep it real with you when I'm talking to you. I'm not gonna say that I don't read it, but I will press it before I read it. I do not read it, okay? And that's because when you read that title, the way the human brain works, the human brain is one of the most complex things. So we've been told, but it's possible that this human brain, they got it totally figured out. They figured this out for ever and ever. They figured it out. All those horrible, evil doctors that was ripping people's heads open and understanding every part of the brain. They know what makes you go. <laughs> they know all that. There's nothing they don't probably know about that damn human brain. As sick and evil as the people have been in order to get this information. Yo. It's a hoax, man. It's what they call, it's a false flag. This is a, look at the, not there's no information about this place and every single thing that they show is staged. Totally staged. So don't think we're not gonna take advantage. What did Emmanuel, what's his guy name? He said, let's never, let's not take it, always take advantage of a good tragedy or whatever he said. So I digress from all of this. Thank you so much. For listening to me on my rant you know i had this is like i've had like three people call me because they want me to quail they want me to yell and scream and rant and rave oh it's a hoax that's what they want me to say but you know what it is so i'm glad i was able to hopefully relieve some of the pressures and the stress from my family and friends that have called me and like are losing their mind about this corona at, in Wuhan, out of here. Let me give you a quick analogy. I put this on my Facebook. And the analogy is the movie Trading Places with uh, Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. And we have Randolph and Mortimer. Randolph and Mortimer actually placed a bet between themselves, a gentleman's bet. And that bet was that this person here with enough money and influence will be able to change his life and be a, you know, a great person to society. And this person here with all that he's learned and all he's done and his education and travel, we take away that money. We take away his, his, uh, I don't remember the exact words, but if we take away his affluent life, he will just be like this guy, you know? And the bet was for $1, but the bet wasn't even $4. The bet was to win. It was all about winning. And I feel like China has some sort of objective to win. Whether it is to win against its people, let's remember it's a communist country, or it could be some sort of winning against us, Americans, or it could just be them showing off. It could be that China is just showing off. China is showing the world 
that at any moment we can stop something. You're not stopping your borders. We're creating something that's going to force you to stop your borders. Because just imagine how much trade right now is suffering. Is the trade suffering? Or is the illusion that this could happen part of the suffering? Like all these people losing money. I'm sure everybody at the bottom is suffering. Come on. You know, people like myself, people like you, we would be the ones that would suffer. But the people that are controlling all these levers and these pushing all these buttons, you know, they're not suffering. They're not worried. They have a plan and it's strategic and the plan is incremental. This is a small step. It feels so big, but it's a small step in a, to a bigger, huger, huger picture. And I would say this, and I would argue this, that what's being done in China has already been done here in the United States of America. And it has already been done in Australia and it's already been done in Venezuela, and it's already been done in Brazil, it's already been done in Panama. All these events, all of these false flags, all of this agenda-based rhetoric and agenda-based mind control and brain control is leading us to a place and they have this place in mind. They have this idea and they know how to get there. There's gonna be a massive amounts of cannon fodder. And that's us, that's you, that's me. While we running around trying to figure out how we gonna to get to this paying this rent, and how we gonna how we not gonna talk to our neighbors because they might try to kidnap and rape our children, and how we gonna you know we're worried and we're stressed out. They add this. This is part of the adding the stress to your life to distract you from understanding how powerful humanity truly is, how powerful you are, how powerful I am. We have as human beings the capability of literally moving mountains. Literally. And the more they stop us from even thinking like that, even having that notion in our brains, then they keep their heads above water. You see, it's the system head that's still above water but let me tell you they can drown because of a guy like me sitting in this car a guy like me talking to you saying that you have nothing to worry about saying that this is a hoax saying that if you look on the internet you will see that there's nothing about this place that has 7 million people and everything that we see on television that represents it had to be delivered by someone with enough courage to move a whole entire nation. Each and every individual that recorded anything there that leaked that recording would have to be a freaking hero. They would have to be a William Wallace of their time to release anything at this critical moment to the world, to show the world something like this. So if we see it, it's because it's planned, it's given to you, it's a gift. Here you go, enjoy. Now go pay your rent or else you're gonna be homeless like all those people you see downtown on your way to work, all those people you see at the train station, all those people you seeing, you wanna be those people, you don't wanna be those people, you better get your ass to work and you better use this hand sanitizer. And then while you're at it, rub this on your face. Take this pill, drink this lotion, drink this potion, all that, 
And then what you gonna do? How you gonna unwind? Come on. But it's winnable. This is winnable. We can win this. We can make it to the next. What is it? I don't know because I can't take you to the last page of the book. Come on, I'll tell you that already. Can't take you to the last page of the book. I don't know why. Do I know what the plans are? Hell no, I don't know. But I know this is a lie. This ain't right. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I look forward to us doing this again. Boom. <laughs>